it's Jillian. I'm back again today because it, the mood struck once again. I felt like doing another video, so here I am. Uh, today I was kind of feeling something, you know, like a little natural with a pop of color. So that's kind of the route that I went, um, as you can see. So if you want to see how I got this look, you can just go ahead and keep watching. All right, so, um, you know, the first order business is always going to be uh, milk. Because <laughs> uh, I just love NYX eyeshadow pencil and milk because it's just so fabulous. And today I'm going to be using some more Urban Decay shadows. I practically, like, only have Urban Decay shadows. Um, I really don't remember what this palette is called. Um, so I apologize for that, but I am going to let you know the colors. I'll let you see the palette so maybe you can identify it. It's, it's been so long since I bought it, I really honestly don't remember. Um, but this is what the uh, front of the palette looks like. It's the one with all the butterflies on it. And uh, when you open it up, it's got the little pop-up in the mirror. Um, so that's the palette I'm going to be using today. So I just took that milk, blended it all over the lid, as well as the um, bottom lash line. And then the first color that I'm going to go in with is going to be midnight cowgirl it's kind of just a uh, very 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 sparkly so be careful with the fallout on this puppy because it's like no other um it's a very very sparkly kind of like shimmery uh like a light gold kind of color like light champagne if you will um so i'm just going to tap into that i'm using an elf brush this is the one that's kind of like angled off i really really like this brush actually it works really well um, for a lot of different things. So I'm just taking some of that on the belly of it, just on the belly, and I'm packing that just all over that lid. Do you see that gorgeous shimmery champagne color? God, it's so pretty. I love it. And then I'm going to go in and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just to help blend that out, although it doesn't need much help. I'm gonna take Skim. It's kind of a shimmery, just kind of like light skin toned color. I'm gonna take that on the tip of the brush. Um, so this is going to be a good color to use like, you know, if you're light like me, if you're darker, you can try to go for maybe a darker color. I'm just going to work that just right around the outer part of uh, where we applied that Midnight Cowgirl. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my highlight just on the belly. This is not the belly, this is the tip of the brush. And this is called, I think it's Zephyr. It's spelled like Zephyr without the hills, Zephyr. It's kind of just a white with a um, gold kind of kind of like a gold flecked in it. I don't know. It's kind of like a goldy, goldy white, if you will. Um, so I'm going to take that right up there at that brow as well as on that inner corner like I just did. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're kind of keeping the uh, upper part of the eye natural and doing a nice pop of color right there on that lower lash line. It's a really hot look. I love it. So anyways, uh, now I'm actually going to go ahead and take a NYX eyeshadow. This is one of their nude matte eyeshadows. This is in the color underneath it all. It's just a very nice, like, dark matte brown. So um, anything that you have like that will work. And just on the very, 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 actually, um, I'm going to first take it on the belly. Just get a little bit on the belly, and I'm just going to kind of, like, stamp her right there. I don't know why I closed this because I'm going to need more. Um, and I'm just going to very, very slowly build up that intensity. Then I'm going to take some right on the very tip of it, just on that like upper tip of it, and start to uh, shape this out, going a little rounded, start working it inward, blending up and in until you reach um, your desired amount of smokiness. Like I said, I'm just going for a very light, 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 natural smoky look on the top, just, you know, be a little interesting so then you know you may have to go in even some stuff up do it as needed whatever you need to do and so uh yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to take just a tad tad bit more and just kind of poke it in the deep crease to give a little more depth just very gently work it in there there we go that's more like it. So then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a 24-7 uh, Glide-On pencil. This is in Junky. It's kind of just like a shimmery, kind of green, teal, teal. It's like teal. It's kind of a teal color. 
and I'm going to very lightly um, just begin to apply this all along the lower lash line working inward. I don't want it to be too thick and then I'm going to kind of just touch over it with my finger to blend it a little bit. And then I'm actually going to take a e.l.f. This is their little smudger brush. I love these brushes. They're only a dollar, guys, and they really can get the job done. You don't have to be, you know, like, oh, good, I need the highest end brushes. Although some of them are really worth it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, some of them are really worth it, but, you know, as far as uh, a nice little smudger brush goes, this just kind of works. And I'm going to dip into this beautiful color called Hijack. Ugh, I don't even know how to describe it. It is kind of like also a teal color. Um really sparkly like lots of different it, it's got so much stuff that's so pretty i really love this color that's all i'm gonna say um so i'm gonna take hijack on the um, very tip of that smudger brush and we're going to go ahead and begin to smudge across here just get that liner nice and uh smoked out like so and just make sure you kind of like fade it in on that inner corner. You don't want it to go too far in and um, take away from that inner corner highlight though. You still want that to be very prominent. So once that is all done, I like to go ahead and do a curl on my lashes before I start adding any of my um, liners just because I know how messy I can get. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do do a nice curl on those. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry guys, I'm still sniffly. <laughs> and uh, then I like to go ahead and go in. Um, this is Black Velvet Urban Decay 24 liner. No, 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 I like this one zero. This one's zero, I'm using zero. It's a die, guys, zero. Um, so I'm taking zero. No wonder it's not that black. I couldn't figure out why this puppy was not that black today. It's like, oh, because I accidentally grabbed zero. Um, but so I'm just going to very lightly, um, tight line first, make sure you smudge it in between those lashes. Cause like I said, we're putting some lashes on to dye, a little extra drama. So, um, what did I get all over me? Lord Jesus only knows. Anyways, um, so you want to make sure that there are no gaps there. And then also, you know, just smudging it right in here, right on the lower waterline as well. There we go. We're looking hot, slowly but surely. Then I'm going to take my um, 24-7 um, waterproof liquid eyeliner from um, Urban Decay and Perversion, just a black color, and I'm just going to kind of ha highlight. No, I'm going to line. Line just about two-thirds of the way, and I'd say, you know, of course, thinner on the inner, thicker on the outer corner. Not even really going to wing it. I don't really do too well with the wing. Um, but we're just gonna line that up, make that look really nice, like so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my lashes, um, you know, you guys have saw me do this in my last video, and I've already told y'all I'm not too partial to the lashes, but these are just Misadoro Wispy Lashes. I cut off the um, first outer two sections to make them half lashes because, as I said before, I don't like full lashes. So I'm going to go ahead, um, go off camera, apply a coat of the um, Rocket Volume from Maybelline, apply those lashes, do my brows, and I'll be back to show you what I'm going to do with the rest of my face. All right, so time to go ahead and finish off this look with some uh, cheeks and lips. I think for the cheeks, I was thinking about going maybe, um, you know, just kind of a light, nice, whirly pink. So I'm going to take this color by, um, by NYX. Um, it's just one of their, um, blushes. This one is in, um, mauve. It's, uh, kind of got a little more of like a corally tint to it, but it is definitely mauve color. You know, I just like pink. What am I, what am I to say? And uh, just going to take a stippling brush right into there. And I'm going to smile and we're going to pop this right here on the apples of our cheeks. And just kind of blendy, blendy, blendy. What did I say? Blending is the most important thing that you're ever going to learn. Um, so just blending that in. 
I am then going to go in with a highlighting shade. I'm going to use uh, this is a hard candy. This is actually considered a bronzer. This is a, a so baked bronzer in tiki, but it is so light. I use it as a highlight. It's really pretty on just gives a nice very 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 natural highlight to the face so you know the drill cheekbones down the nose across the forehead cupid's bow chin you knows it so then after that is done for bronzer because i always like to bronze a little bit i'm just going to take my big fluffy bronzing brush and my chocolate soleil little sample and right into the hollows of the cheeks we're gonna go with that also gonna go right up at my temples right there along my jawline and a little bit down my neck just to make it all cohesive cohesive that's a fancy word and I would also like to take a little bit of that and um, quickly do a contour right down my nose just using this little elf studio brush um, I hope you guys can see this I'm kind of using the mirror behind the camera to help me help help assist out <laughs> um, and then a lot of the times I'll take the just the brush that I probably powder with and just kind of like um, do a little blend so that nothing is too harsh <laughs> And uh, that completes our finished look. What do you guys think? I think I forgot lips. I'm special. Anyways, um, for lips, honestly, I don't even feel like doing anything too fancy. Maybe that's why I forgot about it. But um, considering we did something like I'm going to do a little, I'm a little daring. I'm going to do the um, dare to wear um lip glass from MAC and so bad. I remember when these came out and they're so pretty. Oh god, this is so gorgy. Gorgy! Ooh. There we go. Since I didn't feel like doing much for lips. There we go. It's just nice shimmery. Um, and it's not too much since we have that, you know, natural look going on on the upper lid. Um, so this is going to be our completed look. What do you guys think? I don't know. I kind of went a little messy there with that lip gloss. Oops. But so anyway, uh, that's our finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hope that, I don't know, maybe, maybe you learned something. I don't know. But anyways, at any rate, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed. If you don't mind, you know, you can subscribe down below, rate, comment if you have any questions and whatnot. I'm going to try to put everything that I used in the description box. And, you know, uh, just uh, stay cool.